Hand me a towel, I'm dirty dancing by myself, gone off tabs of that acid. Form me a circle, watch my jagger. Might lose my jacket and hit a solo one time. When you think about all the stuff you've, you've done, all the stuff you've covered over the years sports-wise, what are you most proud of? I think um, my first year when I covered things, my sophomore year, and I did a lot more of the major sports, football, basketball, baseball, and softball. Um, I had an email from head coach of the wrestling team, Paul Schlosher, and he, you know, told me that I wasn't covering wrestling enough and they just won an SEL title and he was right and I think I I used his criticism I used his feedback and heard why the wrestlers were hurt by my lack of coverage and woke up 6am both the SEL tournament in Healdsburg, VVL tournament in Napa the last two years and we've covered those tournaments all day and those have both been incredible experiences I've learned so much about wrestling those seniors on the wrestling program have amazing values and for me to be able to bring their values and how hard they work to the rest of the school, that's a moment that really stands out, I think, of I, t me taking some feedback um, and then the difference that made and be able to highlight an amazing group of kids, an amazing team. That's really what high school sports, Pedal Mahai, is all about. Um, all right, let's go back to the beginning. When we first started this, do you, did you ever think like this is where we would be? Did you think it would pick up this much? I guess not. I feel like I just went into it. I didn't know what to expect, and it just kind of took off from there and realized, you know, media and journalism has a power. I just I was hoping I could get on camera, but I really I really didn't know how it worked. Hmm. What do you when you're on the show sometimes and you're just you're just rolling, you're just spitting fire and, and improving and dropping one liners and making people laugh. What's What's going through that head? What's that feeling in you? Actually, well, I, it's 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 scary. I mean, it's actually, it's actually really terrifying. And there's a certain amount of being able to go out there and fail so miserably, so many times at just you know just jokes and at at just being in front of people in general, and to be able to say, no, you know what. Is this is just what works, and so I, I think what's going through my head most of the time is, gee, I hope this works out. <laughs> when you cover such like extreme sports events in town, like at the Egg Bowl, yeah. or at you know you know like minute last minute to the buzzer like wrestling matches, do you feel like a certain like amount of responsibility? Yeah, I mean I think. It's at that point, especially when you have that moment, you know, like this year, last two minutes of the Egg Bowl, 400 people watching from Virginia to Germany to who else knows where, through the pictures on the screen and through my voice, I have to, you know, become one with that and deliver it so they can experience it like they're there. So they can, you know, feel the heartbreak at the Egg Bowl our goal is to, to bring them there so they're, you know, they're sitting in the student section with the other 500 fans. It's rare I don't go, you know, a couple live streams without having some parent, some kid, someone coming up to me and telling me my grandmother was watching, you know, especially grandparents who are all the way across the country. They'd never be able to watch their kids and they can tune in live. Um, Cole Powers' father, the Trojan quarterback this year, told me that his grandmother living in a retirement home in Texas, but because of us, every game she would she would go put on her Cold Powers jersey and she'd tune in and, and watch the game. And it's, you know, when you hear those things and you know people are depending on you, they're counting on you. It makes you go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you know you've got to be there. I had the Napa High basketball team after their game against Petaluma entire team ran over to me and all gave me and the whole crew hugs and told me they watched every single game I'd done. They were they were VVAL champs. They never lost a game. So I kind of feel like Trojan Live should have gotten, you know, an, a little little part of that of that title since they were they were using our film as scouting reports. But they were they were just so overjoyed to see us that I never had a team ever come and 
and tell me that and you know clear that we were putting on quality broadcast you know ben i know not everything you've done you've enjoyed you know hard to wake up every morning and you know it's hard what we do it's it's not easy and when things go wrong you hear about it but when things go well you don't you know what's what's your motivation what's what's your tick that keeps you going when you do all this I, when I think about you know what motivates me Trojan Live in general, uh, I go back to one singular moment in my sophomore year when I was in uh, I was in AP World History. I was with Mr. Dosery, and I was sitting and we were working on a project together, and we were talking about um, tip of the day. And I remember Mr. Dosery coming up and being like, like saying to the group like, oh, yeah, but do you guys ever really learn anything? And I remember the entire classroom just started like standing up, listing off like just like things that he had said and done on the air. And it was at that moment that I realized, you know, we are literally making pop culture in real time for, for these people. And it's just so weird to me. I think that, that's my main motivation to be able to say, you know, we created this. We're, we're the only student-run news broadcasting channel like in the entire I think I know the Bay Area but I think possibly in the state that goes live every yeah. morning because there are others that do it you know pre-recorded do it uh, maybe once a week maybe a couple times a month but we're the only ones that do it every day live and I can't help but feel a certain amount of respect for that I guess and that's what keeps me going, you know, the, the fact that we are the only ones. You were talking earlier about being like, in the, you, you're like, it's nine o'clock on a Friday and it's the pouring rain. You know, do you ever feel like you had like, do you have any, have, have any very like regrets when it comes to these kind of things? I mean, I think the only regrets I have are sometimes I'm not at things and I hear about them and I wish, I mean, I think. You wish you were there, right? Right, yeah, yeah I mean, I think. Yeah, the 9 o'clock at night in the pouring rain isn't fun, or I, you know, I choose the game that I'm going to go to, or my schedule fits, and it turns into a blowout that's no fun, but I think I never have a regret about a game I go to. It's important to find something in your life, whether that's sports, or nature, or food, or whatever whatever it is. You have to, you have to find something in life, something that brings people together, brings people that, that are your people, and something that you can chase in life and sports sports has that capability in high school unlike anything else i mean sometimes i think like especially now i think about you know how long we've been doing this for and i just can't help but ask myself you know what am i what am i going to do without you griffin epstein ever everyone in life needs their their benjamin vandermeer that you've always been passionate and when no one else has believed in me or believed in trojan live or believed what i have done yeah, I, w I wouldn't have made it through the last three years without you, Ben, and waking up every morning to Trojan Lives Hard, but I always knew you were there to, to, to be positive no matter if the world came crashing down on us. And, and it often did. Yeah, and it often, and it often, often did. did. Yes, yeah. yes. I don't think either of us are really too good at saying goodbye in general, so we're just going to say see you tomorrow and um, make it a make great, great day. day.